That's uh, four times, and there it is, and it worked. Fantastic. Oh, it worked for real? Wow. Yes, Frank. Nice. It did work. John, everything you do is like a crash. <laughs> I didn't get oh, to use this one as well, and I really wanted to just to show my ups. Oh, that's kind of broadcast for you, but there's Pro Corner. See the little red background there I got going on, Frank? You like that? Uh -huh. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. what? That's pulsing, man. Pulling out all the stops. It's cool, man. All right, oh, wow. this is where the fun ends, Chris. I apologize. Um, <laughs> I know that you've watched the 36 episodes that preceded this one, the one that you are on, so I won't bore you with the details, but anyone that tuned in tonight to watch uh, Chris here on the show, let me inform you that the lightning round is this. It's 10 skill-testing questions that are physically, emotionally draining that will take you to the limit and back. They will set your soul on fire and ask for no love in return. So, Chris, I'm going to ask you once and only once, are you ready for the lightning round. All right, PP, one second. Hold on, I got, I got like barbarians like knocking on the door real quick, so hold on yep. a second, real quick. Okay. <laughs> and he never came back. <laughs> That's the end of episode 37. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, guys. Oh man, having kids. Thank God my kids go to bed around this time. The barbarians! I can't imagine. The older they get, the longer they're gonna stay up. Yeah, esports is gonna <laughs> Exactly. Did you hear yeah. that conversation, guys? We did not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe you Would can. you shut up? I'm on Esports Canada TV right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, you ready? What? Three, two. One. <laughs> you don't get to do the countdown, Chris. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, the lightning round, I will ask you again since you had to pause, please. Before. <laughs> Are you ready for the lightning round? Ready for it. Ready for it. Fantastic. And just so you know, the points um, are at my discretion. They may be positive, they may be negative. Um, so no wine, okay. please. Okay, all right, cool. <laughs> Question number one. Uh, you currently live in Florida. I asked you before about uh, a couple different facts, favorite sports teams, hobbies, things like that. Uh, but yep. this is a Canadian show, and we usually like to involve some sort of hockey uh, analysis into it. So question one, name the three Florida NHL hockey teams. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> all right. Oh, God. Florida Panthers. Correct. Uh, Easy one. Golly, I know there's one in there's one in Tampa, right? Correct. Whoa. Oh, God, Sounded what is better. it? Tampa. Bear in mind, this is the lightning round. <laughs> lightning? <laughs> Tampa Lightning. Tampa uh, Bay Lightning, correct. Tampa Bay Lightning. Well done, and sir. And then there's there's three in Florida, really? Wow. Um. God, what other city would it be? It wouldn't be Orlando. Um, nope. Jacksonville? No. Nope. Not Jacksonville. Not Miami. Nope. Uh, Did you imagine that Miami Heat was a hockey team? <laughs> <laughs> Worst name ever. Yeah, I, I actually don't know. I actually don't know the third one. Uh, uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs. What? <laughs> That's where they play golf. Right. Through, uh, I should get... Yeah, they I should get the is that where they're playing golf? Is that what you just said? Yeah, Hilarious. that's where they go for golf. Hilarious. The Anaheim Mighty oh. Ducks. There, okay, that's yeah. a California, Frank. Damn it. <laughs> Who is it? So, wow. so what is this? I didn't know troll questions were like... Oh, like, oh you know nothing oh, you about the lightning round. <laughs> you oh, don't yes. even know. This is great. <laughs> um, okay. I will give you half points for that because you did get Florida and Tampa Bay. So uh, 0.5 is your current score. Question number Wait, two. Let's see at least three. And a, I should get at least three-fourths of a point for that, right? <laughs> Two-thirds, if anything. Question <laughs> two, right. you are at 0.5. Execute in the chat telling you to run away now. There is no love here. Question two, uh, it is Memorial Day in the United States. I'm going to get you to recite the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh my god. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Correct. Oh. <laughs> do you know that, John? I actually do. I had to learn it last year for a play I was in. Oh, wow. <laughs> Were you a president, John? You know, you know what's sad is like I don't think I've recited that since I was in grade school. <laughs> last time, that's how much it ingrained it is in every indoctrination. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I often struggle to do the like, national anthem because I only ever hear it when I'm at hockey games, and I always like get to a certain okay. part and I'm like, oh, what's the next lyric? I dread having to like do it in exactly. public solo. Uh, you've been involved in esports for a long time, and you're obviously quite public about it. You have several shows. Um, 
and so obviously your friends and your family and your wife and kids all know about your esports passion. What are the funniest um, misnames your friends or your spouse have ever called something esports related? So I have a friend who called League of Legends the um, World of Wizards. What she referred to it as because her boyfriend kept playing That's League of Legends. Best game. He said, Would you stop playing World of Wizards? Um, <laughs> Oh so what, man! What do you think of the funniest uh, name that someone has ever called um, something in the esports world? Gosh, that's a that's a tough one. Uh, I I can't think of it. You know, because like obviously my wife doesn't even talk about esports, right? <laughs> <laughs> so she, that, that precludes anything. Um, so I'm trying to think of any anybody has said anything funny, like on my shows. Don't your kids have uh, had funny ways that they would refer to the, the games? Uh, I know my daughter yeah, okay. calls StarCraft and Dota Boom every time she sees it. Because <laughs> the first hero she saw was Zeus and she saw him shoot lightning bolts and she's like, Boom! So she calls it that all the time. My mom Well, I mean, Starcraft. I guess the only thing close to that is they, you know, they call they call the three races the humans, the robots, and the, the bugs. <laughs> those, those, are the three, uh, those are the three races. And, and uh, my son walks by this thing like almost every day and says, who's that, daddy? Who's that? And I'm always like, queen of blades. And he's like, oh, queen of blades, queen of blades, like every day. And then, like the next day he'll walk by it again. He'll be like, who's that again? It's, just, it's like queen teach of blades. Like, like I told you her uh, yesterday. In case uh, he ever meets Kerrigan, he needs to know how to run. <laughs> all right uh good story good story that's a worth a point uh you're currently at two and a half out of a possible three right now question number four you're starting your own league doesn't have to be starcraft but i'm guessing it will be uh what do you call <laughs> this league what do i call this league super star strikers he said it earlier Joe. exactly sure. right <laughs> um huh Man, I can't help it, but it's got to be something like the League of Extraordinary. <laughs> extraordinary. <laughs> no. <laughs> the extraordinary Bonjois. How about that? Bonjois. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> League of Extraordinary Bonjois. What's the. So, LOB is the <laughs> acronym for that? <laughs> not, not as strong. LOB. Lisa Loeb. <laughs> Lisa Loeb would be the song so, you use for you. Yeah, it's uh, good that. enough. Good enough. You get a point for that. Uh, three Lisa Loeb's Canadian, right? Is she? Or is she American? She, Lisa remember. Loeb? I think she's American, yeah. Okay. I can't remember for the life of me what song she did. Something on the Lilith Fair um, compilation. Yeah, yeah. Sarah, Sarah McLaughlin's Canadian. I know that. Yeah, sure. that's true. <laughs> uh, question number five. Another name one. Climbing the ladder needs a new name. The new name must have the word trumpet in it. <laughs> Trumpet? Oh my goodness. Is there uh, an inside joke that I'm not aware of here, John? Why trumpet? No, I just thought of the most random word I could. Trumpet seemed like a good one. Large brass horn. Uh, yeah, okay, so maybe maybe blowing the trumpet, like blowing the horn on the <laughs> <laughs> Blowing the trumpet every <laughs> Thursday at four. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the guest coming up on blowing the trumpet? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Blowing the trumpet, that's worth a point. Uh, you're doing quite well right now. Four and a half. Yeah, Ask, execute, or Hydralis in chat, and they will tell you the lightning round. It's usually not that forgiving. Question number six. It was asked earlier in chat as well by Hydralis. Um, guest you've never had on one of your shows but would love to. And let me remind uh, you that pandering to the hosts will get you bonus points. Just pandering to John Wood. Don't, don't mention uh, like that host. Well, you know, besides the three of these guys, uh, <laughs> um, there, <laughs> there's work. definitely still a few people on the list that I um, still haven't had on yet that I, I you know, still need to in the, in the coming future. Uh, so out of those three, probably Weed. You know, oh no, Weed's been on my show. Weed's been on Pro Corner. Um, so probably, probably Alex Garfield. I still haven't had Alex Garfield on a show. Alex Garfield. Good yeah. enough. Uh, that's worth a point. Can't dock you for that. So five and a half. Question seven. Okay. Earlier when I was asking you, like I said before, about your, uh, hobbies and games and sports and things like that, one of your activities yeah. you said was chauffeuring your kids. 
uh, around to their different activities. Yes. So um, to see how good of a chauffeur you are, how well you are with directions, I want you using street names and left rights and uh, miles. Oh I know you use miles. Uh, describe how you get from your house to dropping your children off at one of their activities. You can pick one of one of many of the activities that they do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, uh, geez, that's actually a tough question for me. Is that the answer even my neighborhood street? Uh, uh, I mean, I can tell you the right to the left. It's a right. It's a, it's, um, okay, it's a right out of my street, left onto. God, I don't even know what the main street in my neighborhood is. It's really sad. A uh, left. Left off, okay, out of my neighborhood, a right onto to Lyons, a left onto Boynton Beach Boulevard, a right onto 441, from 441 all the way down to Lake Worth, and then a left into my my uh, son's karate shopping, you know, dojo area. Um, but that's not very impressive, though. <laughs> I think I missed all the street names. <laughs> the closer you were to your house, the less you knew the street names. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's funny. Sad, you know, that's how sad it is. Is that <laughs> I don't even pay attention to the, to the street names in my neighborhood. Every time I'm telling somebody to come, you know, like the, giving them directions to come to my house, it's always like, ah, oh, take the the second street on the right or, or the 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 right yeah. after the clubhouse. You know, that sort of thing. I, I never, <laughs> Look for the I, big I sign. Uh, exactly. It's like, what's the street? I actually don't remember. <laughs> Starts up like one. an A or a D, I think. <laughs> Very good. Um, exactly. If I was in West that's Palm not Beach, important, anyways. I would have been able to find um, where the dojo is, so that's worth a point. <laughs> uh, so you're doing really well. Six and a half. Jeez, I got to take a couple off here. Uh, question eight. Ooh, this one's make or break right here. All right. You run so many shows. Um, you always have spots for different guests, and different hosts to come on. Uh, how much do we have to pay you here at Esports Canada to take Nick from our show and forever put him on one of your shows? <laughs> how much do you have to pay me? Yes, we pay, pay you to you take him. <laughs> I don't get paid for anything, so that would that, that's, that's just not even in the picture. You don't have to pay me anything. I'll just take Our Nick previous off. guests have replied $5. <laughs> Um, a bag of hockey pucks was another deal. <laughs> it's a pretty good trade. Uh, okay, so what could you give me? So, hmm, what do I? What do I? He, he did I... just have surgery though, so I don't, I don't know if that counts against him or if that means he's all healed up and upgraded. So can you walk, Nick? Can you walk? That's like Basically a, a cyborg now. You're a cyborg. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! That's okay. That's good. Thank goodness for the internet, right? <laughs> uh, I guess you could give me a. Let's see. Maybe a bag of hot tamales or something like that. <laughs> bag of hot tamales. Can, can Sold. Buy, Frank, I'm is cheap, that in the budget? <laughs> I'm cheap. Frank, I think that is in the budget. So, uh, Nick, pack your bags. Pleasure. Goodbye, guys. We're off to it's, Florida. It's been, uh, it's been a great time. Enjoy but, the weather. Go, I'm going to a better place now. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so, uh, no points awarded for that, but you do receive a bag of hot tamales. So, you are at All six right. and a half points and a bag of hot tamales. All right. That's Question good. That's good. number nine. Uh, going back again to earlier when I was asking you questions uh, about your hobbies, etc. You said um, you weren't too much of a big fan of pro sports teams but you do follow college sports and i'm guessing they're your alma mater uh texas longhorns yeah yeah hook worms yep <laughs> <laughs> so uh i need you to recite to me as many of the lyrics as possible to the texas longhorns fight song oh my god <laughs> oh god that sucks <laughs> <laughs> and i'd ask that you also put your hands where we could see them so we know you're not googling Oh come on, man! Oh man, this is this is bad. This is a question that this is something I've been meaning. To, I actually, I've actually looked it up a few times, but I can never. Okay, yeah, no, it's, just give um, me the first little bit. I mean, there's a. I bunch. mean, the eyes of Texas are upon you, right? All of one day. Uh, the eyes of Texas are upon you. You cannot get away. Do not think you can't escape us. Something early in the morn. I think there's a word in there. Something early in the morn. The eyes of Texas are upon you. Till Gabriel, Gabriel blows his horn. Yeah, that's it, right? Um, I had something completely different, <laughs> but you, you seem to know that, that fairly one, well, Texas so Texas I... This sounded good. Which, one, which, one's you, which ones you have? I have, like, Texas Fight, Texas Fight, and it's Goodbye to A&M, Texas Fight, Texas Fight, oh, that one, yeah. and we'll pull, that's, over, that's pull a... it one more win, Texas Fight, Texas Fight, for it's Texas that we love best, hail, hail, the gang's all here, and it's goodbye to all the rest. Wow. Yeah. But 
whatever song you sang, uh, you seem to know quite well, so <laughs> I will <laughs> award you a point for that. I can imagine now they're all at a game, 50,000 people there, everyone's doing this song, and Chris is in the back doing his one. <laughs> 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 okay, so, okay, so, so the, 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 the actual chant that you're doing is definitely something that, that's chanted during the game, but okay. the, uh, the, the Eyes of Texas or whatever is, or is, is what the players recite before and after the game. So, uh, okay. Um, they, sing it, they sing it before and after the game, every single game. So, well, he knows the hardcore stuff. That that's cool. right, that's right. <laughs> Super meta. Question number 10. Uh, this is something we asked before to a previous guest that you know quite well, Libin Pink. She gave <laughs> okay. us a pretty damn good answer. Mm -hmm. uh, we also asked Fire Zerg the same thing, because he was also on that episode. Um, his was yeah, quite good. Okay. Um, so I'm going to ask you this. A movie is being made about Chan Man V and his life in esports. So this one's a three-parter. I need to know what the movie is called, who plays you in the movie, and what's the tagline for the movie? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, the name of the movie, Climbing the Ladder. <laughs> Not <laughs> the, blowing the trumpet? <laughs> Not <laughs> blowing the trumpet. <laughs> climbing the Ladder. Uh, the person that plays me... It's got to be Asian, right? It's not... Okay, Nick Song? Be, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll at least try to... Oh, Nick Song, exactly. And if he wasn't so old, I'd say Jackie Chan. But, He's doing all his own stunts. Exactly. He's doing all his own stunts. There's exactly. no way he play on top of that moving train. <laughs> oh, man, totally, totally. Uh, let's see, who would play me? Um, God, I'm trying to think of an Asian actor that could play me who looks like me give me some suggestions man give me some suggestions well, who would uh, what's the how, how about the, how about the what's his face what's his face from um the um the hangover and oh. Oh, yeah. john Ken jong yeah there you go oh, Ken jong can play me and then uh uh and then what would be that tagline it'd be um oh gosh <laughs> um Climbing the ladder one Ryung at a time. <laughs> one Ryung wow, at a time. Good one. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm gonna have to well, steal I think that we one. We got it, guys. That's pretty good, <laughs> right there. We just did it. I Collaborative one, effort. Yeah. The movie time. starring Ken Jeong. <laughs> John playing Christian. Time for Ryung at a time. Oh, man. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> um, when can I buy tickets to said movie? <laughs> <laughs> I totally watched that. A hundred percent. After after I have a Kickstarter that like you know we raise like a good you know fifty thousand dollars to make it, oh, and then uh, it's like five years to come out with you know. <laughs> 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 Fantastic. Uh, that is definitely worth at least one point. Uh, so if I go back through here, tally this all up. Uh, you actually did quite well. I thought these were going to be difficult, but you sniped them all. Dude, they were. Like they more, were. I feel like easy. I'm more trolly sure. usually, but you, you got all <laughs> these except uh, the Florida. You're hockey way teams. too nice to Chris. I know. You're way too nice. <laughs> that's because that's that's because uh, you know we work together. <laughs> <laughs> and he has all the connections too. If I want to. All the other people from his shows to come on. He can't be like, man, don't go on the lightning round. We'll destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> destroy your soul. You were just like, uh, definitely just, just have a DDoS attack right when uh, he's starting lighting yeah. round. Like, <laughs> it's so. like, oh, seem to be losing you. Good night. <laughs> well, uh, that just about does it for this section of the show. I want to thank you, Chris, for coming on. I hope that wasn't too painful. <laughs> the lighting no, was and everything great else. Great time, guys, man. Great, definitely a great time. And again, I appreciate you guys asking me to be on. And, uh, you know, love to be on sometime down the road, too. Fantastic.